Okay guys, coming to you soon too. Summer Nights, the second coloring book. Actually, I don't believe this is the second. Her postcards were next, but <clears throat> the sec um, second book of hers, Summer Nights, um, is coming out the ninth as well. So I thought I'd share it with you. This too is illustrated by Hannah Carlson. Also published by um, Gib Smith. And again, they were kind enough to send this to me. Um, Gib Smith did an amazing job on all these Hannah Carlson items. They are all um, done with the same exact binding, the same exact paper that was used in the Swedish books. So they did not disappoint on any level. And of course, the same beautiful art, which I'm sure a lot of you will recognize. I love this. Always makes me think of Alice, of course, when I see this little pocket watch. I hear my babies are squalling. Again, beautiful inspired art by interesting things like keys, locks, but nature inspired mostly with bugs, flies, critters, and peoples. And don't forget her beautiful, beautiful florals. And crown. Look at that beautiful crown. Queen of the Flies, maybe? Maybe that's an island opposite of Lord of the Flies. <laughs> some of you know what I mean by that. Some of you won't. I think this one is inspired by her daughter here. Cute little mice tossing their little stars up into the beautiful sky. Beautiful ornate bug. Cute kitty with a butterfly on its nose. Her cool house with the shrooms coming out of the roof. Her beautiful owls. This one a beautiful two-page spread. Just lovely. I mean, not many people can make me color a spider, but I think Hannah may have succeeded. Owl on crystals. Beautiful mushroom page. I love how Abby's patience is just borderline with those kids. <laughs> she should do it every day. Beautiful, isn't it? you can hear the paper is absolutely lovely. It's a vanilla color. It has a lovely tooth for pencils. And I think water media will not soak through if you use um, literally water media. Alcohol inks will definitely soak through even on this. You recognize the tattoo lady. I'm sure you've all seen just incredible pictures of her done. Cute little kitty portrait. Alice in Wonderland mushrooms. frogs with homes on their backs. How cute is that? So creative. Just so creative. Love to get inside her head. Just beautiful. Again, great article with a review from her on Amelia's magazine blog site. I believe Beth C. also did a really interesting um, review with her. So check out their blogs if you're interested in learning more about the artist.
Aren't these lovely, guys? Like I said, you definitely want these books in your collection. They're not that much more expensive than the softbound independent artist book, and they're just so beautifully done. I will put a link up where you can purchase this. Just beautiful, isn't it? I've seen so much beautiful work come out of these books. This page I've seen done just beautifully. Those of you that like to do gems, I'm going to have to practice on gems before I get into this book, right? If I can ever get out of my Alice books. Just beautiful. There's looks like a woodpecker storing her jewels. Cute little caterpillar crawling up on that side. Pretty little girl. Just harnessed up the what kind of bird is that, would you imagine, with that long beak? Not a pelican. I don't know. And I think these are strawberries mixed with jewels. Oh, and snakes in this one. This looks kind of like a Millie Murata snake page, doesn't it? Her beautiful Victorian houses. Just lovely. Plenty of pages. This book will keep you busy for months. Especially as it's such a beautiful book. You want to do such a great job on them. Then you leave it on your coffee table as an art book. For everybody to peruse when they're at your house visiting. Seen these done beautifully recently too. I mean, who makes a lizard look elegant besides Hannah, right? Or a bat for that matter. Seen this one done a lot recently as well. Not one of my faves. Looks like little mice getting snuggled up for the fall, maybe, huh? Mushrooms. Another kitty page. This is a beautiful pic. I believe this too was inspired by her daughter and the kitties. Just lovely. Dedicated to my family, friends, and all the daydreamers who color in my books. Another beautiful book put out by Allie Gibbs, illustrated by Anna Carzan. Thanks, guys. <laughs>